This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Man, rest in peace to Sanuti Wild. He died Saturday at a hospital in Houston. Police said he was found shot in the neck while next to an SUV in a ditch. So, again, our condolences Man. to his family. Um, according to his fiance, Crystal Meredith, she spoke to ABC 13 on Sunday, confirmed that he was the one shot at the scene. She said she met him. In New Orleans, he's from Memphis. They had moved to Houston and had been living in the city for three years. She said he did not have any enemies, so she has no idea who would have shot him. They do have a three-year-old together, and he leaves behind a total of five children. If anybody has any information regarding this, they want you to call Crime Stoppers, please, at 713-222-8477. I thought I read somewhere that it was definitely on camera. Said- I thought that's what I thought. I guess the way it was parked, they said yeah, they definitely. Was- mm-hmm. I mean, no, it's definitely sending his family healing energy, man. Absolutely. You know? mm-hmm. And was it, did it look like a robbery or something? Like, did they take something from him? Like, uh, They are still investigating again. This just happened on Saturday, but a woman reported that it was her vehicle that ended up in the ditch. And she said she told officers people stopped to assist her. And that's when uh, she says that uh, Porter, who is Snooty Wild, showed up and pointed a gun at her. The woman told officers she ran away and then heard a gunshot. And according to investigators, a neighbor caught the entire incident on camera. Huh? Yeah, this is what a woman is saying. She said her vehicle ended up in a ditch. Because remember, he was found shot in the neck while next to an SUV in a ditch. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. this woman reported it was her vehicle that ended up in the ditch. She told officers people stopped to assist her, and that's when he showed up and pointed a gun at her. The woman told officers she ran away and heard a gunshot, and according to investigators, they do have the entire incident on camera. So I'm not sure what went down, but this is is what's according to the report. All right, but we will keep you updated, so rest in peace. Uh, Euphoria season two, that finale did crash HBO Max. A lot of people were tweeting and upset that they were having problems uh, getting on the service. They told people, please close the app and try again. They said there were over 52,000 complaints when the show started. But by it was like around 920, those complaints fell to under 4,000. So I guess the first few minutes it crashed and then they were able to fix it. Well, have- don't spoil nothing for me. I haven't seen it yet. I'm watching it today. I didn't land till really, really late last night. So don't spoil nothing. Okay, LeBron's Museum in his hometown of Akron, Ohio, will be opening next year. It will be included in the transformation of an entertainment complex in Akron, and it's being re- rebranded into the House 330. Uh, that complex will have bars, restaurants, retail shops. There's no exact date for the museum's opening, but there will be an admission fee if you want to go and see some of these exhibits. And that will deal with LeBron James. You'll be able to walk in a pair of his size 15 shoes, experience his journey through life. The first exhibit will feature his early years growing up in the Spring Hill apartments and how that transformed him into the man that he is today. All right, now Monica is putting out new music. This will be her first album since 2015. She was on her Instagram stories giving fans her status on her update. She said, y'all keep asking for this album, but you really aren't ready. And she said, these lyrics, I wrote them, felt them, lived them, and I'm unashamed of them. The lyrics say, I've cried enough, I've prayed enough, I've done enough, I've been enough to you. Did things no one would do. The problem wasn't you hurting me. It was me not seeing the best in me. My own value wasn't clear to me. It was the same lie repeatedly. You turned it all around on me, told me go be free when you knew this was holding me. But you will see there will never be another me. So excited for some new music from Monica. I hadn't even realized it's been that long. And Talib Kweli also teased a new Black Star album is coming. He posted the new Black Star album was recorded in hotel rooms and dressing rooms across the globe. I love how my brother Yasin Bey pushes me musically. Black Star forever. Follow at Black Star Keep Shining today. It's so crazy. If you watch the uh, Kanye West documentary, you see how mm-hmm. Talib Kweli and him was so cool and how Talib helped him get on. So when you hear Kanye on Drink Champs talking crazy about Talib, it just seems crazy. No, it don't. I just I told y'all Kanye West is a master manipulator. So he said on Drink Champs, I just used all the backpack, backpackers. I never even liked them. I just used them to get the way I wanted to be. And that's the way he has continued to use people throughout his career. That's just wild. Just a fact. On the documentary, you see Talib Kweli at the time. Nobody They really show him mad was. love. Yeah, they showed him mad love. Yes. Brought him out on stage, took his beats, uh, was trying to get him signed. Like, they showed him mad love. Yeah, they tried love. to get him there signed was, to Rockets. Yes. 
But um, there you know, was absolutely no reason f- ever for Kanye to talk crazy about those two individuals like that. Not for, not for well, somebody that, that, that held him down like that, that tried to put him on, no, that brought him out to the show. All. Like you well, listen, Kanye himself said in his book that he gave out at his concert, if you can't be used, you're useless. That was one of the phrases that he lived by. All right, now, Bow Wow. That's a fact. If you can't, if, that's a fact. You gotta be humane. If you can't be used, you're useless. I do agree with that. But you don't let people misuse you. All right, now, Bow Wow says he plans to release his final album on Death Row. He said, spoke to Snoop last week. Very soon, my plan is to put my final album on Death Row and close my music career out where it began. I'm trying to do the D-Wade and come home and close it out. So that could be exciting for him. And Big Sean. Uh, the internet was going crazy. I saw Big Sean and Janae Aiko were trending over the weekend. I had no idea why. And it's because allegedly he posted his nudes on social media. Now, the story was that he tried to post a picture of his penis next to a Nintendo Switch. And then people were Googling the length of the Nintendo Switch, which was 9.4 inches, to figure out what that length was. But Big Sean did say, this is not me. So the photo was allegedly uploaded to his close friends on Instagram and made its way around social media. From what I'm hearing, he's saying that somebody photoshopped it and put his name on it, and he never sent that out. It wasn't him. But he is getting a lot of love from it, so he's amused. Now, question. How do we know that he actually put that on his close friends? Because you know, when people say things like that, like it was on their close friends, like did people actually see it on his close friends? Because I wonder how that happens. How does something just end up on, on your story? Somebody screenshotted it, and it said Big Sean on top. So that's why people feel, and and then the story that went But viral, it doesn't mean it was real, though. No, it doesn't mean it was real. He's saying it's not real. Yes. All right, well, that is your yeah, I think y'all, I think, I, mm-hmm. I think y'all worried about the wrong missiles because Putin has ordered his nuclear deterrent forces to be on high alert. And the way y'all discussing Big Sean's alleged missile is how you should be discussing the ones that could potentially kill us all. All right. Now, speaking of that, we got front page news. I'm sure we'll break that down some more. Speaking of what? You talk about the missiles and everything. Be yes. specific. <laughs> today's a big day because there's a lot of talk set for today. So we'll tell you who's going to be speaking with each other today. Delegations from Ukraine and Russia are supposed to be meeting. Joe Biden's going to be talking today. We'll tell you what we know so far. Like we said, things are changing by the minute. So we'll keep on updating you. I said front page news. What was on your mind? I just asked. Well, be specific. I was discussing two different missiles just now. I just want to make sure you want to talk about the right one. That's all. I, I want to talk about the right one. Which one you want to talk about? Guys. No, right. no. <laughs> Gotta go. Front page news is next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 